How much does latency really matter? There are people who swear by getting the lowest latency possible. And then you have people who can't tell the difference between their own potato PC and a fully fledged gaming PC. So what gives? Does having lower latency actually make a difference when playing Osu? Or is it just a placebo pill variable that doesn't actually matter? The answer might surprise you. Latency as a whole can be divided into these categories. Input delay, audio delay, and visual delay. Each form here acts in such a way that you'll have less time to process what you're playing. In other words, it can start to affect how playing the game feels. Warning, just because anyone could feel changes in latency doesn't mean everyone will. You could think of it as trying to tell the difference between monitor refresh rates. Let's start with input delay. This delay is like the time it takes for your grandma to respond when you ask her for extra dessert. The longer it takes, the less likely you're going to get it. So in the context of Osu, input delay exists between when you physically tap and when the game acknowledges that input. If you have more input latency, it'll take longer for your actions to register in-game. This means you have to compensate by tapping earlier to make up for this delay. And so reducing this delay would reduce the amount of invisible strain you get from doing that. But Jay Musta, you say, how is that even possible? I don't physically feel this being a thing at all. And since I don't feel it, it doesn't exist. Just because something is invisible to you doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Let's see if it starts to make more sense with the next form of delay. Audio delay is like when you're watching a movie and the sounds are out of sync with the visuals. That's annoying and can ruin the whole experience. In Osu, audio delay occurs between when the game has acknowledged an input and when you actually hear the corresponding sound playing in the game. This delay can also add invisible strain while playing. If you go from playing with a pair of Bluetooth headphones to playing with wired headphones, you may end up tapping everything too early since your muscle memory hadn't readjusted to the change yet. Reducing this delay would give you more time to process what you're playing. Visual delay is different from both input and audio delay. It presents itself when an action is registered in-game and when you actually see it on the screen. This can be a bit trickier to understand, so let me try and paint it out for you. The way we see relies on light bouncing off objects into our eyes. The farther away something is, the longer it takes for light to travel between that object and our eyes. It takes years for light to travel across outer space, so what we see when looking at a planet 8 light years away is actually what that planet looked like 8 years ago. In this extreme scenario, imagine that planet was a giant screen playing Osu. It would take you 8 years to visually react to the map even starting. You tap everything eight years too late. Now going back to your bedroom, huh? instead of focusing on how long it takes for light to reach your eyes from the screen, the part that actually matters here is how long it takes for the monitor to display something happening in game. Following that interstellar example from just now, the longer it takes to display something, the less time you'll have to visually react to it. Reducing delay here will give you more time to process what you're playing. Okay, I lied. There is actually one more type of delay, human delay. This is probably the hardest type of delay to address because it's something that's never going to be exactly the same between two different people or between the same person on a cold day and a hot day. But there is a recent development where human delay has actually become quantifiable. With the adoption of magnetic Hall effect switches, being able to move the actuation point of a switch to nearly the top of a key press means your finger doesn't have to move as much. And the less your finger has to move, the faster it can activate that key press. The amount of time it takes for your finger to do this could be defined as a type of latency in its own way. Reducing this form of delay could also be beneficial when it comes to tackling speed in the game. Speed is where reducing overall latency may matter the most. The difficult thing about trying to make good OC content, for example, is how the bigger ideas I have for the community are out of reach of where the channel is right now. The more this channel grows, the bigger the content becomes. But that can't happen without your support. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Which leaves us with those of you who still swear that latency is a placebo metric, and that it's simply a distraction from putting the work in to get better. My answer to you is the human brain. One of the most impressive things about the human brain is how good it is at filling information gaps in our senses. Did you know that every single person has at least two blind spots? Take a look at this. Go ahead and position yourself in front of the screen with your nose between the cross and person. Now cover your left eye while staring at the cross of your right eye, and slowly move towards the screen. Eventually, you'll find a distance that makes a person disappear completely from your vision. That's your right eye's blind spot. Our brain is extremely good at using our other eye to fill this visual gap in. And this isn't the only thing our brain does with our senses. It's so good at doing these things that it can make latency feel invisible while playing Yosu. Some of us actually become sensitized to it the more we play the game, especially after learning to play with Hard Rock and DT. The active time window a tap is considered accurate decreases with those two mods. Aiming to have the lowest latency possible will indirectly raise your skill ceiling. It doesn't mean you won't have to push yourself to improve, but that you'll have a bit more room to breathe as you progress. Again, this is the most obvious with speed, but it really is about reducing the gap between the best you can do right now and what your higher potential can be.
And speaking of higher potential, here's how shining a laser at OC player's eyes helped them reach their higher potential. 